Virgo Wild Dallas. Okay. I feel like I put it I put it off talking about it and I put it to the end of the show because I feel like once we talk about it on the show, then that's really just putting like the period at the end of our Go Wild Dallas experience. And I just don't want it to end for real. I know it has ended, but it was just such a great weekend. Truly. It went by so fast. It really it went by so fast. fast. I I can't believe how fast it went by. Because I feel like the last few times, it was like, I'm ready to go home. No, I, literally. I home now. Yeah. But I was like, I'm not yeah. ready. And it's not because the other ones weren't a great experience. It was just different it was was just just different different for some reason yeah i definitely feel like this has been i feel like every year i'm gonna say this but this has definitely been my favorite go wild so far Mm -hmm. um i feel like the location was perfect the hotel was great um we were around like a lot of food locations a lot of shopping and things like that and we actually got to see outside of the hotel which was really nice like every day Mm -hmm. every day yeah i think and let me rephrase my like, I'm ready to go home kind of thing. When I vacation is more so like chill vibes. Yeah. So me too. the past two locations, like we had other things to do. We were sightseeing in DC. Mm-hmm. We went to Disneyland and Anaheim. Yeah. So there was other things going on too that like kind of sh- put my anxiety in shambles and stressed yes. me out a bit. To once yes. you like, not to say that it wasn't fun because all of those are absolutely amazing as well. This mm-hmm. one just hits different. Agreed. It just totally, hit different. Totally yeah, it did. It was definitely more so along the chill vibes that we prefer in vacations. Yeah. Even though Go Wild itself is definitely not chill, but we definitely mm-hmm. had a lot of chill moments, which was really, really good. And, you know, I think we had a, such a great experience because I definitely think we went into this Go Wild with a much different mindset mm-hmm. than before. And I feel like having been to Go Wild twice before this, like we kind of knew, like, Look, at the end of the day, we'll go out, self-care and making sure you feel okay and that you're up for all the things or whatever is just important. And so if you need to leave a session a few minutes early, if you need to miss a session to go get a meal or something like that, then that's okay to do that. And I feel like this is really like the first for real, for real time that we felt like this is okay to do that. It's all right if I miss this or miss that because I want to make sure I feel good and I'm okay and I'm I'm able to really participate in the things that I really care to participate in. And we absolutely did that. Like, I don't remember ever being starving to death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we always made sure we had time to eat and mm-hmm. to rest and to chill and get into bed at a decent time and sleeping in a little bit here and there. Like, it was just really, like, the thing for us this year was, like, really like self-care because it's just it's such a it's a it's a lot it's a lot going on it's a lot of events and you can definitely really get overwhelmed if you're not taking care of yourself and we just want to make sure we had the best experience ever and we needed to take care of ourselves to do that and we did mission accomplished yep yep agree it very helpful pretty familiar with dallas overall so it wasn't Mm -hmm. like a sightseeing kind of thing that adds more to the already Yes. All the things you could do at wild. So yeah, mm-hmm. that definitely helped. But yeah, that, I mean, at this point, we kind of like, I don't want to say perfect it, but because I don't know. Did we perfect it? Because I, I, don't, cause I don't feel like anything, <laughs> like, you know how you come back and like, oh, I'm not doing that again, or I need to tweak this. I don't have any like Mm-mm. moments like that. So maybe we did no. perfect it. I think so. I mean, the worst thing that happened to us was our DoorDash order possibly getting mixed up with somebody else's and delivered to somebody else's. So we got somebody's very small order. Shout <laughs> out like to the Megan people. who like smashed all of our freaking food. Possibly. Y'all should possibly. <laughs> y'all should have seen us. It was like 10 wings and some chicken tenders, mm-hmm. a handful of fries between five people because we were fucking starving at that point. We told it, it, told it, up. Tore it up. And then we went to Wingstop and got our correct order yeah. and told that up. Yeah, so. that, yeah. That, that was funny. I think yeah. that's the only thing. That's literally it. That that was the only thing. And that's I think, the, depending on the location, of course, I think I'm renting a car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just it's think just, I am. It's just yeah. easier. Depend like I think if you are in a drivable 
place. Yeah, it depends on um, that does not sure. depend on public transportation. Like I think DC, I don't think it would have been a yeah, wouldn't have worked. Yeah. And we were so close to the National Mall and all that type of stuff, we mm -hmm. really didn't need it. But definitely um in Texas, a place that we know is just so big and so spread out. I'm not it's mad at that. City. Yeah, really I mean. definitely yeah, so that's definitely moving forward in driving cities. We will absolutely rent at least one car. So we'll have that. Uh not have to use so much on Ubers and Lyfts and things like that. Um yeah, yeah. Was, everything was just so close too. Like even everything that wing was stop was what five Girl, seven literally. minutes drive. Yeah. So literally five minutes down the street. Mm -hmm. Um, who was your favorite speaker and why? Oh, that's tough. I mm -hmm. I think I really thought it was going to be Frank again. Mm -hmm. V took the K for me. I mm. felt like I was literally in church. Yes. I know I am a content creator, so I probably resonated a bit more than mm -hmm. folks in the room. But I think their um, conversation with us could really like if you wanted to take from it you could take from it kind of thing mm -hmm. you don't have to be a tiktoker podcaster instagram whatever to take from it um but i could see how people maybe who aren't like into content not really care for mm -hmm. it. i loved it i love every bit of it i got so much i think that was the place that's another thing too i'm so excited to be able to write notes yes. in the moment instead mm -hmm. of like coming back a week later trying to remember what was said I have so many um, notes from their uh, speech. So yep. I think they agreed. V they was absolutely amazing. And we got to meet them at Plan Jamma, take a picture. They put on our pen and we took Crazy. a picture with them. Yeah. That was so freaking nice. Um, just, just amazing. And I love when speakers um really enjoy go wild and we can tell because they come to like other events and things like that to check it out and just you know acknowledge what a special place it is so that was mm -hmm. amazing since you named somebody that was like kind of non planner community i'll name my planner community phase for sure um or you know the people that we know primarily from the planner community mm -hmm. i think that vj and bonnie were such a fantastic beginning to friday and to yeah, just kick the sure. sessions off uh, you know we're a little biased because you know we adore them <laughs> and stand them so bad but truly they were just so good and like BJ just had so many gems that she was dropping and just left so much inspiration. I feel like she just brought so much life into the conference to start things out. And then Bonnie with the session that she led, I just love the little craft that we made. It was so cute and just so like, it wasn't something that I felt like needed to be perfect. I could just kind of make it my own. Mm -hmm. And I really want to like finish it and really make it cute and special to like really be my little, you know, keepsake from Go Wild Dallas. Um, and then that washi tape is literally the cutest washi tape I've ever seen in my life. So neat. And I think that what we got nice. was like their full sub thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yep. Which is like. Yep, I think I need the sub because it's I think so. perfect. It's mm -hmm. perfect to like plan out your month. Yep. Or just to have a little taste of something. Like yep. sometimes with not subs, too much. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it becomes too much and you start to like like get overwhelmed with some of the sub boxes. But it's like you're, it's not a full roll of washi. It's right. just a few strips to get you mm -hmm. through the month. The stickers aren't like a full stack or whatever. And I get right. people want like a lot of things and value or whatever but mm -hmm. i think for what it is meant for it's the perfect value agree i totally totally agree and it's so nice that we have to get like such a great like preview of it basically yeah. and to know that like if you sub like this is what you're gonna get so i think that was such a fantastic idea um okay so what was your favorite nighttime event what was your favorite nighttime event we miss uh one of them so we're we're down to two. <laughs> self care was important, okay? It was a self care but, moment. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> I really enjoy Walker Party. Mm, mm -hmm. I really did enjoy it. Um, I know we're supposed to be outside, but I'm glad mm -hmm. we moved it in. Yeah, it was it was pretty chill um, inside, and we got two drag performers. That was really cool. Amazing. They yeah. were so good. Dueling pianos. I really didn't mm -hmm. know what to expect. 
Mm -hmm. but it turned out really well. A lot of people are asking me, like, are you going to get up there? Y'all, I don't know lyrics without seeing them. I couldn't think of any song that I, like, knew the lyrics, like, yeah. was by here. And it's not like, since it's piano, it's not like the actual beat right. of the song. So, right. so yeah. Um, but it was really fun. I, I really enjoyed it and the going back and forth. It really, mm -hmm. I think dueling pianos fits for the crowd of Go Wild versus just karaoke karaoke is Definitely for like too. more of a smaller crowd i think so too yeah. yeah i think so too um shout out to archer and olive for hosting the welcome party this year i thought it was mm -hmm. so much fun really really a blast and the drag queens were definitely like the cherry on top of how fun it was truly and it was yes. just nice all the tipping oh, mm -hmm. yes i, I know <laughs> to be able to like support like local drag it was just mm -hmm. amazing um uh, since i have to pick something different um uh, i'm gonna pick plan jamma it was a freaking blast i'm not gonna lie i was a little skeptical about it being at texas live texas live is like a bar type of venue mm -hmm. you know obviously they shut it down and it was just a private part of, for us but yeah. i was a little bit skeptical about how the vibes were going to be no the vibes were immaculate it was yeah. so much fun people were able to eat if people kind of wanted to get away from like the party part side of it they mm -hmm. could just go sit and chill and talk and drink and um it was great there were so many bars so we were never standing in line for more than like a couple oh, minutes at goodness. a time yeah that was amazing and then because it was at a like a real bar at 10 o'clock when it ended you know usually we just don't want to go back to the room we just aren't ready to leave mm -hmm. but since it was at that type of venue people who wanted to stay were able to stay and yeah. continue to party and hang out when they opened it up to you know the general public or whatever we did leave because we got there quite early and we was tired by the time 10 o'clock came but yeah. it was nice to have the option to be able to stick around if we wanted to and the staff was really fantastic and very accommodating and nice and it just really seemed like everybody had a great time and one of my favorite moments was seeing Jeanette on the dance floor and mm -hmm. everybody surrounding her and dancing it was just it just felt like just it was just love it was just so nice yeah I loved it loved it loved mm -hmm. it always love like the uh the weekend wrap-up video we get at Plan Jamma oh and seeing them on those like Texas Live has these huge screens like Humongous. you could be anywhere mm -hmm. in that built in and be able to see it very clearly cool very clearly mm -hmm. um so that that was really fun and really cool like and like you said with like going back to the staff and the bars and stuff they're used to yes. that type of crowd you yep. know and sometimes like well in the past that we've been to it's like it's hotel staff really mm -hmm. which it's not as they ain't ready for us mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't even think this mm -hmm. hotel staff was ready for us no so it was nice to like <laughs> have the like have the multiple bars and have people who are used to all these different folks around them while they're making drinks and getting things done so that Agreed. Uh, immaculate, immaculate totally totally agree yeah it was uh it was amazing um, let me see. What was something? Is there anything about this year's Go Wild that surprised you? Now you talked about the dueling pianos. That could be your thing. Or is there anything else that like really like surprised you? Was better than you expected it to be, or you just didn't know how it was gonna be? Anything else like that? Um, I would have to go with the member led meetups. <laughs> that was mine too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had no real expectations with it. Mm -hmm. Um, but it ended up being really, really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, obviously with Beyonce, anything's going to be good, Period. but I love that other people were able to just kind of do their own thing for a little bit. This is what people have been asking to do mm -hmm. to kind of have something like set aside for them to kind of connect with folks. So I was pleasantly surprised by how well all of that went. Yeah. And, um, just seeing people like come and go, like we were in one room, obviously, since we were hosted, but seeing people come and go and do different things and connect with different people um, was really, really cool to see. Agreed. Agreed. The member led meetups were really, really fun. It's definitely something that I hope they keep doing in the future. Mm -hmm. um, because like you said, it just gives people just an opportunity to just meet people that they have things in common with in like a less like structured environment because you know like mm -hmm. a wild crop it's kind of hard to talk talk or doing the sessions trying to talk to people at your table you don't want to be doing all that while there are speakers on the stage and stuff so it was like yeah. that and honestly I, I do think that having them on Friday at the time that we did I mean Friday is already such a long day 
That was one of yeah. the reasons why I was just spent for Friday and I just could not do wild crop. I just really, really needed that break. I really needed that sleep. I knew we were going to have to get up again uh, early on Saturday yeah, after getting up early yeah. on Friday. So I was just tired. So I would like for them to is maybe maybe spread them out like over the days, you know, have a couple on Thursday or a few actually. Actually, they can have a couple more because Thursday, I mean, we really didn't have a ton going on on Thursday except for, you know, registration mm -hmm. and our live pod, which we will absolutely talk about. But, yeah, um, yeah it just felt yeah. Like maybe some can be spread out. Yeah. You know, because Friday. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the only like, well, yeah, Friday was just long. <laughs> it was just Friday a long, long, long day. Mm -hmm. um, I can't imagine folks that were up like we still got up when the doors open you know yeah the girls be camping out i just cannot imagine like how did y'all survive mm -hmm. i don't know to um wild crop at that it point. sounds it's, exhausting yeah yeah exhausting. Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah i would love to see those member led meetups again but like you said more spread out throughout for the sure for sure um we have to talk about our live podcast that was so much fun thank y'all to everybody who was able to come mm -hmm. i was actually surprised because we had a few new listeners in there people who had never listened to the show mm -hmm. before signed up so it was so exciting to see them and get their reactions to the show um and hopefully some new listeners hopefully you guys are still listening so it was really really it was really cool if you haven't listened to it you can go back mm -hmm. on our feed and give it a listen but it literally just felt like the lives that we do with our patreon community every yeah month, so yeah super nice to have them um front and center too mm -hmm. to make it just uh just more immersive and like have they that made comfort. themselves known yeah with the, they had the shirts on the merch shirts yeah <laughs> they were in the front couple rows like the patreon crew was deep and represented for real yeah <laughs> Love them, but yeah, it, it went so well. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that like we had a decent, like you said, a decent amount of people who were never heard of the show, absolutely mm -hmm. new to it. So definitely gives them a really good taste of what we do here. Yeah. Um, I love the QA section too. Like we kind of mm -hmm. we got some really good questions. So yeah, yes. again, definitely go back and listen to it if you weren't able to be there. But um, mm -hmm. it was such a good time. Yeah, oh, the and backdrop you, girl. Oh my god, the backdrop. Shout out to the wild thing. <laughs> yeah. Because the backdrop lives in my head rent free. I rent think I free. need to find a picture of it and make it my background on my phone because it was so nice. Yeah. Uh, the room that we were in was really nice. And if you guys want us to do another live podcast and go wild next year, uh, make sure you let the wild team know. Just saying. Yeah, look, definitely look. And let them mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I, yeah, the girl's gonna be sick of the the backdrop picture because I I be putting that in the stories as a background. It's on the website. <laughs> and from the I need to just get the background good. on the website. It's, it's so nice. So good. It is so good. Truly. But yeah. Oh, that was just so much fun. Love so much that. fun. Um, the planner fair was really cool. I mean, the activation room gets better every single year. This mm -hmm. year, they absolutely outdid themselves. All the setup, like Wow You and No Teak and Cloth and Paper, all the setups were just so nice, so elaborate. I mean, Moxie Life had a freaking ball pit. Like, it was very, very cool. And there was opportunity to shop. A lot of brands had... Um, um, shop set up so you could buy stuff from Zebra. You could buy stuff from Love Live Posh. Um, you could buy stuff from a lot of different brands. So that was very neat. I keep thinking about me almost getting jumped by that dog in that ball pit. I'm sorry. My <laughs> room almost got attacked by dog. <laughs> I forgot about that. And if that would have happened, I couldn't have run because I had a freaking skirt on that was kind of tight around like my calves area, so I could hardly get in as yeah. is. I, yeah, mm -hmm. there was a um. There was a overzealous service dog in the activation area, and he was very enticed by the ball pit and Myra in the ball pit. And at some point, we this is all on IG Live. Yeah, by the it way. is. You know, if you want to go to the Go Wild IG Live and check this out, you can literally see. It. We were Did you watch live. it back? I was scared to watch it. I didn't it back. watch the whole okay. thing, so I didn't see that part. But I need. To. I hate that you can't scrub on Instagram. I wish I you could know. scrub. I could just go to that part, but I know I want to see it. But yeah, uh, so, whoever uh, but shoot yeah. that live, shout out to y'all. It was really live. It was, it was really, really live. 
Um, and you know what? That was uh, that was probably one of my favorite things that we did doing the IG lives because we went mm -hmm. live um during the cloth and paper energy break uh, down in the activation room and we got to talk to VJ and we got to talk to Ashley. Um, we got to talk to so many different brand owners. Heather, yeah, just about all of them. Like yes. maybe one or two weren't at their station when we were there, we but we came yeah. down at the right time. Yeah, we really did. Time. Yeah, yeah, and it was so much fun to talk to them. We get to interview them in real time. Um, because like I said, the activation room was so elaborate and cool. Mm -hmm. And then we also did a live um from Plan Jamma at the beginning. So if mm -hmm. you want to kind of see a inside look at Plan Jamma, you can go check that out on the Wild Planners IG. I believe it's on our IG too, right? Is it on the Arab stream? Yeah, we okay. uh collab. So yeah, heard it once. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. those are always <laughs> the fun things because I, I love yep. getting the people at home involved. Me too. Where they Me feel too. like they can, you know, be immersed in the wild experience as well. I know, I know. Yeah, but yeah, Go Wild Dallas was, it was a movie. It was just so good. I really loved the hotel. I can't talk about it enough. It was just so freaking nice. The room was so good. Luxurious. Did we do a room tour? Did we record? I think it? I recorded. Yeah, I think I did. Because remember, that's when I saw you and you had your bunny on. And you oh, was like, you that's why I didn't that. take the footage then. You only at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but the room was so good, too. It was so nice. It yeah. Was so There's plenty. Nice. It was plenty of room. We had an extra little chair in there. It, mm -hmm. I mean, it could not get any better. And I really don't mm -hmm. know how they're going to top it. We say it every year, but I really do not know. No, literally, I, I, I for real, for real, do not know. Like, do we have any speculation on what we think the next go out is going to be? On um, where? Yeah. Um, did I say when? I mean, where? <laughs> I could. I you probably did, but uh, I got a feeling it's gonna be an unrealistic Atlanta. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not reason. happy about that, but it just makes the most sense for the sides and and we going and we gonna go no matter what. Yeah, we gonna go no matter what. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Is it too soon for them to start repeating locations? Do we think it's too soon? You think they think mm. it might be too soon? I mean, because we I don't think it is. is. Yeah. I don't think it is because, I mean, you have to think. I know a lot of people see it as a vacation, but it gets harder and harder location wise mm -hmm. when it's 1,500, 2,000 people because you have to yeah. think about We have to find a venue that can fit all these people. That's true. So um, we, we might see a repeat i i ain't gonna be mad at it but the way yeah. wild is growing where else can we go because every state just does not have a uh, the These facilities massive, yeah the conference yeah. hotel to be able to so it's like you know i think everybody ideally wants to go yard go wild to be right in their backyard but mm -hmm. it's not super realistic for that yeah. because every state just cannot accommodate you know crowd is big for these yeah. as many days or whatever you want to try to make it as central mm -hmm. as possible make getting I there so too. easier like you don't want to mm -hmm. fly in to one part and have to drive yeah an hour or so or whatever to get to the location so yeah it gets the more and more it grows it gets harder and harder to do the mm -hmm. um different locations so yeah i wouldn't be opposed right. And you I mean, also want to pick a city that people want to go to and want to yeah, see. So you yeah. might have a city, you know, somewhere in Wisconsin that people that that has the hotel, but the people really want to go there. I don't know. And no shade mm -hmm. to Wisconsin. I just use y'all as an example. Um, yeah, <laughs> but you know, I, don't I mean know. that's facts. That that mm -hmm. is very much so facts. Like it has to be somewhere people want to go. I mean, the location mm -hmm. when it comes to wild is a part of the appeal too. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed. Uh, apparently, lovers and friends uh, canceled, so there's a place there we could go in Vegas. I look, I will, <laughs> I will never not regret missing out on Go Wild Vegas in 2019. So I won't be satisfied until there is another Go Wild Vegas that I can participate in because uh, Vegas just seems like the perfect place for Go Wild. I mean, this, the freaking name is Go Wild. Where is yeah. wilder than Vegas? nowhere I, well yeah you know yeah we'll see it. i, I we'll wouldn't see. be opposed even um new orleans but yeah. i don't know do they uh -huh. even have a place large enough i don't um, know because yeah. uh i mean y yes i think so because mm. you have to think like they do the essence fest in 
New Orleans every summer, and that's a humongous crowd. Granted, I don't think is it's it like in the conference? hotel, no, yeah. it, but they do have like a conference space okay. or whatever. So I don't know, but I feel like if they can make the Essence Fest work in Vegas. I mean, not Vegas, New Orleans. Yeah. I think they could probably make Go Wild work too. And again, I'm very mad to have missed out on Go Wild New Orleans. So I would be very, very happy. And then I think, you know, it's been so long since New Orleans too. Like Go Wild is just so, so huge now compared to when they had it there. So I love the way um, they, they spell Go when they went to New um, Orleans. That's so cool. I love it. Yeah. I love we, it. And we then, could definitely redo that one for sure. You know, I'm such a foodie. And New Orleans is such a yeah. We'd place. probably be tired after New Orleans because we got some places to see. Because I'm a feed y'all. We going to I all the places. The authentic beignets. Oh, oh, absolutely. Period. We gonna we have got, we gonna yeah. eat beignets every day. Look at us playing that go out uh New Orleans. Anyway, we don't know we where don't it know. is. <laughs> this is just speculation. But but yeah, I don't think it's too soon to uh to repeat because you know i don't think so either we mm -hmm. haven't been to all of them and mm -hmm. just the sides of the conference is we probably gonna have to agree sorry y'all agree but yeah we'll see you know the next one is definitely going to be the best one that's how it always is and so just shout out again to the wild team we just love partnering with them so much and we appreciate them and we're just looking forward to many more go wilds so yeah i'm excited yeah. when did we learn about the location for this one girl like was it august? December? it was like august it was like the end of august i believe okay so we, we got, got a few a, months we got a few months if if history repeats itself we still got like three to four months before we know anything so we shall see. get y'all funds ready start to sinking funds if y'all want have. to be there mm -hmm. we've already have we are well on our way I know mm -hmm. folks every year is like, I hate that I miss it. I can't block out May, mm -hmm. April, not May. Yeah. April. What is it? March, April, March, April, mm -hmm. block that mm -hmm. out. Start the sinking fund. Now you don't have to be at every single one, but if you want to get to one, make mm -hmm. it happen. Just make make it a happen. plan. Yep. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Anyway, we planners. I'm just saying some of I'm us don't saying. be using it to its full potential, but well, some note. of us is me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't trying to drag out because sometimes I don't be using it either. Same. But we can Same. we can definitely make a plan. We can definitely make there, a plan. We would love to see you there. We will definitely be there. 